So we are going to need to download and install the app first. So go to soapui.org, click on the download link. You will be presented with two options, the uh, SoapUI Open Source or SoapUI Pro. We are going to want the open source version. Go ahead and click Get It. I have already done so to save a little time. So I am just going to open up the file that it downloaded and run the installer. Go ahead and hit open on that warning that comes up. So for the most part, we're going to take the defaults. Uh, we don't need everything, so I will be unchecking a few boxes, but should be straightforward. So go ahead, click Next, accept the agreement. Applications directory should be fine for this unless you want to change it. Um, we don't need the tutorials or Hermes JMS. Unless you want them, you can install them, but I don't need them for these this uh, tutorial that we are doing. So I'm going to hit Next. Go ahead and create a desktop icon if you want and hit next. And that's pretty much it. Um, we're going to uncheck this and hit finish. So the Mac version of Soap UI has a bug in it with this version of a combination of Mac version and Soap UI version. So I'm running Mac 10, Mac OS 10.13.1 and the Soap UI version was 5.3.0. Um, so you will see the bug right here. You notice that we can't click anything and you see this spinny beach ball. So there hasn't been any resolution from Soap UI on this. So we have to put in a workaround, which I will show you right now. So I'm just going to quit out of Soap UI. Make sure it's all the way closed. Okay, that's good. Um, so I will post this uh, link in the video notes. Um, but basically, we have to make a few edits to some of the SOAP UI files. So, like it says in Finder, we have to go to Applications, Smart Bear, SOAP UI, App, and Show Package Contents. So, to do that, you just let me close that. Go over to your Applications find your SOAP UI icon, right click on that, show package contents, all right? So contents, Java, app, bin, and then we're going to look for the SOAP UI SH file. So that's that here. Let's open that with a text editor. So I'm going to use my sublime text here. So what we are looking for is this Java ops this line right here actually this line so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that let's do a search so this guy right here so all we have to do is uncomment that by removing the hash save that go ahead and close that and then we need to edit one more file. So go back to your finder. So this file is going to be an applications, uh, same same basic place. So but we need to go up a few levels. So uh, go back to the contents folder. So this VM options. Open that with your text editor. And you're going to edit that file. You're going to add this line. So the including the dash. So just copy that, paste that in the bottom, put a new line in there, hit save, and we should be good to go now. Let's open up Soap UI to make sure. And let me click on stuff. So that worked that time. If I click on something, that works. All right, looks like we're good to go.